Good morning, Joy. Good morning, how are you this morning? Today we're gonna to talk about bathroom organizing, specifically under the sink. So since you're here bright and early, let me turn my camera around. Uh, all right, the lighting's not that perfect in here, so hopefully you can at least hear me. But thank you for joining me this morning. I'm organizer Janet. And I just wanted to share with you a few tips on how to organize your bathroom, specifically under the sink. And this is for you if for some reason, um, you know, you are on a budget. Because basically what I'm going to show you, I bought everything for less than $10. If you are renting a space, leasing a space, or like me, in a year I'll be moving. And I really didn't want to invest in a lot of money in a bathroom that I know will change. So today I just wanted to show you a quick, simple, easy way to organize all the stuff we have to keep underneath our bathroom sink. So I'm going to switch the camera around. Yeah. So I've got three baskets, one, two, and I've got three. And the first basket is all about the bath uh, and the body and the hair. So from my head to my toe, I've got my shampoos in the back. Of course, you see, I've got my extra toothpaste, extra toothbrush, uh, lotions, deodorant, etc. Second bath basket is a is smaller because as you can see it's got the pipe here and it's all about the nails. Everything if I could want to do my give myself a pedicure or a manicure from scissors and everything is, is just tucked nice and neatly in there and all of my nail polishes are lined up front and of course I can always get a small tray and put them here as well and there's also room in the back if I wanted to just put something back there and also one something I wanted to mention to you is we get those wonderful razors etc and I decided to start putting them in these little bags just put it there <laughs> because when you open up the packet they fall all over the place and this way I can grab whatever I need to go and my last basket is all of like first aid stuff, which is very easily accessible for me. Um, so if I get a bump, a bruise, cotton balls, I've got peroxide, alcohol, my little first aid kit. And of course, that little thing in the bag right there was something, unfortunately, I had to use last year um, as I recovered from my surgery. But I just bagged it up. And behind this, as I said, there's still room is, of course my blood pressure monitor machine. So these are just like a few things. As I said, I know I paid a dollar for this. I paid no more than $3 for each of these baskets. And it's nice because even if I want to decide to do a pedicure manicure outside of the bathroom, I can just lift this basket up and take it with me. And when I was going through my recovery from my surgery, it was really great. I was able to put this on my windowsill because I couldn't bend down so everything was nice and convenient. And of course, if somebody needs something, a guest, I can just direct them and everything is where I need it. So that's the one thing I wanted to show you. And a couple of more things I wanted to show you is I've actually taken a wonderful gift basket. And let me kind of move back a little bit. A little gift basket that somebody gave me and I put some little bath and body stuff in there. So that helps me kind of have things and sometimes I put special things for guests as well. I go. So again, just keep it simple. Categorize your items in your bathroom so that you can have one section for bath and body, one section for, you know, your girly stuff or your man stuff, and another section for first aid. And of course, um I can't see the question. Ah, here we go. And um also I thank all of you for joining me again. And also, as you go through, and thank you so much, um, Jayana, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and make sure that when you go through, you purge as well. Because as you saw, I didn't have a lot of bath body stuff, because as I've gotten older, I realized I don't need a lot of this stuff. I don't like a lot of scents. I like to keep things simple, even with my nail polish, even though there's a lot of different colors that look fabulous on a lot of women but I'm just a nice simple girl so so again just keep things simple keep things organized and this is just for those of you ah 
Hello, Stephanie. Yes, I re do remember. I remember you. So thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday morning. So just keep things simple. But as you go through things, just to make sure that you purge as well and get rid of things and just keep things simple. So um, until next time, I want you to have a clutter-free day. But most of all, have an organized week. And be sure to visit me on my website at Janet. M. Taylor.com. Have a great day.